I don't know where to start. It is <laughs> Thursday the 7th of March today. On Monday, a vlog of mine went live and at the end of that video, I waited to ask if there would be any interest for a weekly vlog on my channel. And I have been absolutely <laughs> overwhelmed with the amount of yeses and the positivity and some people are just saying whatever you make i will watch the comments were just coming in thick and fast and it was so much positivity i think that video has had more comments in the first sort of 24 48 hours of it being uploaded than i think any of my other videos i have just been so amazed and overwhelmed that there's so much love and positivity going on in my comments i am so so happy that my videos are finding the right people i've only ever wanted my channel to grow if it was growing with the right people <laughs> and i can 1000 percent say that you guys are my people like so kind unbelievably kind it made me want to pick my camera up and just start this weekly vlog <laughs> now <laughs> it's actually um thursday as i said in my previous video like me putting a vlog out i haven't really got into the swing of things i haven't worked out how i can get those two videos a week done so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna do a weekly vlog just like this and even if it's just <laughs> a couple days out of the week i'll still call it a weekly vlog and if i can film and i get an extra one done then i'll do it um i just so the encouragement from you guys was just amazing amazing it is a work day today and yesterday was my daughter's birthday and i had the day off work but i actually had quite a bad headache i swapped my days around so i could be off for her birthday and was planning on getting a rundown and I was gonna have my family over who was gonna who was surprising my daughter for when she came home. I was then gonna be like running, doing a load of housework, getting the house ready for everyone. But I, I had such such a bad headache. I just felt terrible so I didn't go for a run. I didn't do the majority of the housework that I should have done. I mean it it was my family they, they honestly didn't care <laughs> but the night before i set up the living room and i honestly think i should get mum of the year <laughs> i blew up a few balloons i still deserve it though i blew up um quite a few um, unicorn balloons and i just made it all lovely and birthday special decorated downstairs for when she came down she absolutely loved it later on we went to the harvest star to celebrate her birthday we went out for dinner and yeah, I enjoyed that. That was really nice. Came back, had some cake, and now it's Thursday. So as it stands, I have uh, just under two weeks left before Matt comes home, which is fantastic. Fantastic. I can, I can see an end. <laughs> but saying that, Matt has been away for a long time. Just in case this is the first video of mine you've ever clicked on, my husband is in the military and he's been deployed for the last six months. Well. Five and a half, but it will be six. <laughs> I have been alone without him and yes, he is obviously getting ready to come back home because the amount of parcels that I have had to take in, <laughs> he's obviously been um, going through it while he's been away because he's had to purchase lots of new things. He's got some new running shoes as well um, and he's got himself a new top to run London Marathon in. But I have asked him if I can unbox his trainers and everything else for you guys in this vlog and he said yes <laughs> i am going to do an unboxing for you guys maybe one evening we'll get together and open up matt's mail <laughs> but one of those boxes that got delivered um he wanted me to check it was some adidas trainers he wanted me to check the quality of those because it looked like they were being delivered from a returns place it said it was coming from adidas returns did i say adidas be before i think so i think so <laughs> yesterday morning before my headache got really bad at least i managed to go and take that over to the post office for him so he can do an exchange i've just dropped off a package for matt because he's going to do an exchange on some trainers that he bought it's so weird because one trainer looked worn and used and the other trainer looked brand new it was really strange anyway <laughs> so we've returned those and um yeah i just realized like i'm like walking obviously back home i walked to the post office and it's just dawned on me that I actually never walk or never have walked around here. I've only ever ran. So, yeah, it's, um, I, th I thought to myself, oh, I'll take it to the post office. I'll drop it off. It won't take me long. It'll be like five minutes. And I'm just like, 
everything feels so much longer and so much stretched out <laughs> i just thought that was just something i noticed and that was really weird like you i picture that the area that i live in to be very quick to get around not very big <laughs> and then when you start walking it it's yeah it just feels so much longer and so much drawn out let me know if um, you've experienced that i can remember in my last post in when i was walking a certain loop that i used to do it was like two and a half miles for this loop and i was walking that loop and i remember thinking like this is taking forever and also just in case you're wondering um yes i do walk storm but i don't walk him around here i take him somewhere else for his walks <laughs> so yeah i just watched that back and i've just thought oh people might think well don't you walk your dog i do walk storm yeah, of course i do i run with him and i walk with him i just walk with him in a different area and also, I said that I dropped off a package, and that's what I say when Stormy does a poo-poo. <laughs> so, just to clear that up, I didn't do that kind of package. I dropped off a cardboard box with some trainers in it. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> it's Friday. Just in case it's a bit complicated in this video. Yeah, try and keep up. <laughs> keep going back and forth to what day I'm filming on. So Friday, I'm out. That is the goal. Because I tell you now, all last night I was debating myself, arguing with myself about coming out and running today. I wasn't really feeling very well yesterday. But I try not to make a decision. Big word here is try. Try not to make a decision based on, on what I'm going to do the next day based on how I feel the night before. So I basically told myself I wasn't going to go today. Woke up this morning and was like, no, I, I should go, I should go. <laughs> then decided, no, actually, I'm not going to go. Then I gave myself an excuse not to go because I have a delivery coming today. And then I saw Storm's face and I was like, we have to go. How can I not take this one out for a run? Look at him. Hey. Okay? I just got very lucky. <laughs> so lucky. So basically, I was doing a little loop in a loop and I was going around the original loop does any of that make sense probably not i'm knackered so we didn't we did like 23 minutes 24 minutes not very long two and a half miles nearly and basically i was gonna go a bit further I'd probably round it up to half an hour to be honest and uh yeah as i was coming round the bend towards the straight towards my house i saw a postwoman in her red jacket walking towards my house and my house was like this big at the time <laughs> for me and i was like is she holding a box i can see a brown box yeah go 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 so um yeah saw when i just ran and i i was breathing heavy and i wanted to say excuse me excuse me i saw her like walking around and then i was like Whew. deep breath and excuse me and then she saw me we waved and we laughed about it <laughs> and she said hello to storm and I got my parcel. Bless her. She was so she was so lovely. She said that she was gonna go and look and see if she could find a blue bin. <sighs> yes, I'm tired, but I'm tired, but 938 minute miles, average pace. What? <laughs> I've had I haven't ran in a week, in a whole week. Last Friday was the last one I did. So weird. Running is so weird. Like some days I can run at a pace that I don't even dare dream about because I don't want to be disappointed, <sighs> um, which is today. And other days, I feel like I'm running at that average pace and I look at my watch and I'm nowhere near it. <laughs> Storm's having his water and I'm sweating. So yeah, I can have a bath and open up my goodies. Guys, it's a bit later, I'm all washed and what have you. <laughs> I've just had this through the post. Oh, it is. So they sent me a message to thank me for including their vest in my video. And they then said they wanted to send me the silver version as a thank you. <laughs> they actually have, which is just so amazing. True strap. I really like the silver one. Sorry, I've just had to like rush over here just so I can film this. Yes. This is them. Oh, wow. Do you know what? I really like the silver version. 
It has white. Nice. What? Oh, it smells good. Amazing. Amazing. If you want to see me opening the original one, I'll link the video up here. Um, I'm going to have to send them a message. I'm going to message you tonight, True Strap, if you're watching. Thank, thank you. And it looks really reflective as well. It's not, this part here looks very reflective. I'm doing a terrible job of showing you that. <laughs> like, it looks really reflective, which is brilliant. I know I'm probably not going to be doing it much justice, but this looks reflective in the light. Especially this bit. I've just realised it's not Friday, it's Monday. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I think it's time to do that little bit of unboxing. But I'm going to have to be really careful not to show my address, because that wouldn't be fun. But we have a few items here <laughs> that Matt has ordered since he's been away. So let me explain why he's ordered all this stuff. This isn't him bored and spending money <laughs> he needs all of this stuff and to be honest i'm so glad that he's actually got his act together and had got them all there we go i'm so glad he's organized himself and got them all sorted so i didn't have to do anything i'm gonna start with what he's gonna wear for london marathon next month is london marathon please let me know in the comments below if you're taking part or if you're gonna be there i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be there screaming from the sideline he needed a new top to run london marathon in Let's see what he's gone with terex never heard of that before it's very airy and this is the design he's gone for nice and simple and it's a medium although it is very see-through <laughs> but in the summer i could be stealing this you never know you might spot matt running if you're there and he spent this is the best thing about opening up his mail i can see how much he spent or can i <laughs> okay i don't know how much that was i don't know how much that was <laughs> you get away with that one okay this oh this feels like a beret this is a work thing we won't bother with that. Okay, next one. Might have to use the scissors. I know. What could it be, Storm? I'm pretty sure there was an easier way to do that. Oh, it's a watch strap. His watch strap. Um, is broken so where he has it clipped on it's obviously too loose one down and too tight one above I think he's using it too tight at the minute I can't remember but he did tell me um, I'm obviously such a brilliant wife I listen to everything and remember everything he says <laughs> tell you how much that was no I won't tell you there's no price on here uh, Garmin order it's from Garmin it tells me how much it weighs. <laughs> okay, no price. Never mind. <laughs> and this is from Mountain Warehouse, so this is gonna be a code. Just a plain black and it has a hood with like this weird cap. It did say, do I want him to get two so I can have one as well? I'm glad I said no <laughs> because I don't think that would suit me. But plain black with a pocket in here. Oh, it does feel nice though. It's really thin pockets inside that's handy i don't know how much this was should we see it was 85.99 that one this one oh maybe i do like it oh <laughs> it doesn't feel very
very thick though. There we go, Matt's new coat. We come to the most exciting box, the one that I really want to open, which is his new trainers. <gasps> Don't eat that. No, no, we're not eating cardboard. They're from Nike. Can you see through the paper? They are bright. Oh, he's so funny. You know, Matt has always said, even before, <laughs> excuse me, even before I started running, he has always said, the brighter the trainers, the faster you run. <laughs> he's obviously planning on running London pretty quickly. I think he ran a three hour, eight minutes. I can't remember, but he's done London Marathon once before and he did that in about three hours and eight minutes, I think. He didn't really take the time to kind of take it all in and soak it all up. So he's gonna make the most of that and he's gonna do that this time. There they are. So, oh, these look like they've got different things. Oh, okay, so you've got the Nike tick on this one. And this one says, established 1972. Oh, okay, I think these are like, I've just realised, I think these are like the special ones for like an anniversary because they have on the back 1920 and 1924 on there. The colours are stunning. I think that's what the pattern on the design is, is like a celebration thing. Um, these are Pegasus 40, if you're wondering. And I know that he enjoys these style of trainers because um, the style is a repurchase, but I didn't realize they were gonna be this kind. How amazing is that? Shall we see how much they are? But it doesn't say. <laughs> so um, we'll have to just look that up if you're interested to know how much they are. Yeah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm jealous. It's now Monday. Um, so I was planning on doing this uh, unbox. But Storm's mouth is really distracting. <laughs> I was planning on doing this unboxing over the weekend, but I really wasn't very well again. I was really struggling with the headaches, like repeated headaches, most of the week. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was going to do that unboxing um, yesterday. I'm just, I'm going to have to, yes, darling, yes. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna put you in the kitchen. Is that okay? Just for one minute. Just for one minute, yeah? <laughs> Finally, <laughs> have some space. Yeah, I was gonna do that unboxing yesterday evening. I was gonna do that, but I wasn't feeling very well again, so I've done it today. I really messed myself up because uh, today I started my next video, which should be coming out on the 1st of April, and it's gonna be my a combination of the last three runs that Storm and I have together. So I'm, I'm currently in the... I've currently got some clips and filmed my run from this morning and then obviously got all of these clips from this week. I have to really be organised and get this video up and sorted by Friday so then I can focus on that video. <laughs> I really, really hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog. I kind of just decided to pick the camera up as and when. There was no really rhyme or reason. That's the kind of style that I think might work best for these weekly vlogs. Is this moving? I felt like that was slowly dropping. <laughs> this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I'm gonna maybe potentially gauge if it was a success, if it was a success or not with the thumbs up. So yes, give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. I am gonna try my best to do one of these every single week, but again, I'm not gonna force it. If I can, I will. If I can't, then I won't. Uh, but you will still have a weekly video every Monday from me. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna put these away so they stay nice and clean. Um, I'm gonna hang this up <laughs> and maybe I'll wear it and I will see you soon. Bye!